I'm not sure how to put it, but I always feel refreshed after a job well done. A 3D body isn't so bad in its nude state, I suppose. Speaking like a true artist. I just can't believe it, like for serious. Ogre's a girl? Yes, dude, yes. Was this really okay? I looked too, I guess, so I'm gonna have to say yes. We got highlights? Yeah, but did anybody grab it? We heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. Girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Man, what a nice bath. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time was a true pleasure. Indeed. Yes. Of course. Normally after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but uh... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no time for that. So in the end... That's what I figured. Huh? Eh? Actually, we were just saying in the bath about how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Mm. You're all so terrible to me. My entire existence. Everyone's so cold and mean, even after I got presents for you all. Presents? Well, now, well, oh, now, well, now, have I got well, your now. attention? <laughs> Let's head to next to the gym where your presents well, await. Well, no questions, no dilly-dallying, get a move on, and everything will become clear. Um, what are you scheming this time? It it's probably going to repeat the same thing again, providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, me either. I'm, like, totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for now, we just have to endure it, come what may. Okay, cool. So before this gets too far, I'm going to check this out, because I want to see. You guys can't see it. I only see one, two, three, four, five people in there. I suppose that's true. There are five girls. Aoi was sitting in between Sakura and Kyoko. And Celeste was the one in the bath. She has that, th that that crazy huge amount of, like, pigtail swirlies going on, tucked into a tiny towel. I call shenanigans. Good sir, miss. I don't believe that. Nonsense. With heavy fate, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was always so already somebody waiting for us. Hello, History Master. What's up? What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. Yakia, did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple. Right foot, left foot, left foot, shit. <laughs> the same as always, I see. <laughs> her, on the other hand. What the heck? Oh, she's back to her Debbie down herself, huh? I heard what sounded like sneeze and she was back to old self. <laughs> So now she goes from manic to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that to the mix. <laughs> Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. <laughs> so when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Is that it? Looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... Nobody's died yet, we're still just getting things started. What do you got for us? You guys? Looks like everyone's here. Let's get started. What? Out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However... Whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Just like we said we would not break last time, but then somebody broke. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. You don't have to get so defensive, calm down! I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. <laughs> Without further ado, I give you this! Just fat stacks of cash? Prepare this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. 
It's like totally wowie, wow, wow, am I right? So, so he's, he's going with the carrot this time instead of the stick. So that's the motive you've prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is... is not nearly enough. It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whatever, whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. But, but what are you saying? there's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase a person's life. Uh, um... You can say ten million or however much. I don't give a crap. For serious. They're all right. Whether it's ten million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum in money. There's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? I'm gonna note that we did not hear from Toko or Taka in that. Hmm. Have you so quickly forgotten lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. There might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is... comfortable. I'm telling you! Hey, Fumi, well, what about you? You know nothing! I'm a super popular content creator! I don't have any problem making enough money to buy my comics and DVDs! <laughs> then... Hey. Just stop. Pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. Ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is nature of this game. All right. <clears throat> this is, is a school, school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Shoutouts to Throne Controllers at Con Bravo, where they used this exact sound clip for one of their uh, one of their audio voice clips. <laughs> It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Although we did pretty much just run them straight out of audio cues because it's all anybody ever picked. It was a fun game. Hmm. Is that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. I'm going to speak about that here in the gymnasium where there are cameras. Just because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because... Or the predator may fi suddenly find itself the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. Okay, okay, let's just everyone head back to our rooms. Don't think about that whole money thing, got it? Good, then let's mm. break. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? Hmm. You are becoming more blue every time I look at you. Right. <laughs> as soon as I was back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's going to get them to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned, but this time... This time it's different, I'm sure of it, because the, of the program Jihiro left behind, Alter Ego. We finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, then I'm sure. Yes, History Ma Master, Taka has been like that the whole session so far. Little kids have it so easy, because they can put Lil in front of their name, and right off the bat everyone think it's cute. Well fine then, I want everyone to start calling me Lil Monokuma. See, just by adding that, my cuteness goes up by, like, at least 10%, right? Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough Lils. More Lils would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine it. Lil arsonist, Lil war criminal, Lil destruction of the environment, Lil hit and run, Lil death tax, Lil great depression. Even the darkest subjects can suddenly become brighter! Our dreams are expanding, ding, ding! You're insane. Cool. I'm gonna take another one of these, uh... One of these throat lozenges here. I like how I still have not picked up the lint roller. Good it's just morning, on the floor it is now where it was and on the first day we came in here. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful 
beautiful day. Guess I should head to the dining hall. I didn't have post-con depression. I just had a little bit of post-con loneliness. That's it. Lint roller. It's my lint roller. I haven't used it since then. All right, let's get out of here. All right, where are the people at? This is the uh, the time to walk around and talk to people, am I right? All right. That means it's audience suggestion time. Who shall we go and speak to on this day that isn't Hifumi? Because Hifumi obviously, obviously comes first. Good morning, Sakura. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Waking up for a breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little earlier is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. Big meal after work up for after working up a sweat is divine. Oh, actually, it isn't hangout time yet. Hey, Makoto. Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? That's right. Yeah, me and Sakura were doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't have I didn't break our nighttime promise. I just ran around my room till it ended. Why do you come with us next time? I don't think I could keep up with you in Sakura. Aw, oh, seriously? Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play Othello. I'm not very good at that either, though. I don't like to think when I'm playing, so... <laughs> I am absolutely down to play games with you sometime, Owie. You are friendly and cute and just, like, nice to look at. Play games with Celeste. I can, I can play some games with... It burns. Some amazing games of Celeste. So I got a vote for Taka and a vote for Celeste. Of course, since Taka starts out at negative one, that just means he's now at zero. So that's a vote for Celeste. When we get there. Ah, well. Hello. Good morning. Mm. Actually, mm. it's a great morning. A morning that has blessed my entire future. Feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> Maybe you can't tell, but my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. <laughs> well, I'm off. That was bizarre. Where am I supposed to go? So that's a vote for Hina and a vote for Celeste. Let's just hit up the breakfast mo uh, meeting. Could it be? The people here today are the same as yesterday, just us seven. The Akia and Toko are a lost cause, but... Wow. Looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. It's like he's just given up. People wound as tight as he is. When you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way to make him better. Mm. On another topic. Yoko, did everything go all right last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... She seemed to hesitate, oh. but it's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have, ha I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh. Um. No, it's just like you said. We all need to be very careful. <laughs> huh? huh? Hey, what? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lamps. What? Why are you talking like a pissed off drill sergeant all of a sudden? Oh, you just faded back in Hero for a second there? We ate breakfast in a rush and then headed back to our rooms. There's the hangout free time music. What should I do today? Check on my little lint roller. Wait, wait, that was a different line of text. It's my lint roller. It's lightly, lightly used, but who cares? I care that you have it on the fucking rug where it's gonna get dirty, dude. Put it on the shelf. Frosty Diamond Studio, thank you for the fo- Diamond Studios, thank you for the follow! My dude and or duet? Dudette? Hope you had yourself a fantastic weekend and that it was better than mine because I've been sick the whole time and I've gone through this many SEPA calls since I started this fucking stream an hour and a half ago.
Okay, so I've got one vote for Celeste, and I've got one vote for Kina. Of course, it's actually Hifumi first. So, keep voting right now. Who, sh who should I spend time with next? Uh, map. Nobody here. Nobody there. There's a whole lot of abandoned rooms right now. So Aoi and Sakura are next to the physics lab. Kyoko's inside the physics- they're all on the third floor. Okay then. Except for Hifumi. Where's my rotund boy? Right there in the dining hall, okay. You can't vote twice. You only get one 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 vote. One vote. Paula. So that's a second vote for Taka. However, since Taka starts at negative zero, that means that he's now tied as well. I've got one vote for Taka, Celeste, and Hina. What up, Ifumi? Ah, well, hello. Mm -hmm. Salute to you! Salute! I just saluted! Did you see? That was the Hifumi ultimate salute! Zam! Actually, hold up. I'm going to save Scum. I already told you guys about this last time, but I'm going to absolutely save Scum when it comes to the items, because I don't know what they like, because I'm not very socially good. So if I don't get the right item that they like, I'll reload it. Spend some time with Hifumi. No, god damn it! I, I hit the wrong one this time. Three salutes! Three salutes from Hifumi. Cosplayers these days are totally ignorant of the origin, the history, it's the significance of their hobby. And if you don't know your history, you can never have a complete cosplay experience. So, Mr. Naegi, prepare for a gloriously detailed history of the cosplay world. Now, in 1955, I listened to Hifumi's half-obsessed ramblings for way too long. Hifumi and I grew a little closer today. Yes, definitely. Now, what would he like? I've got Coke. I've got potato chips. I, I feel like he'd like any snack foods. It's probably a good a good bet. But I've also got some more anime specific things. Save the snack foods for people who are like a, a little bit uh, of an easier target. Water lover is for Aoi, layering sheer adorable reactions collection. Fumi gets up and seems to want to join the party. <laughs> Allow Hifumi to join you? <laughs> Does that mean he liked it? I, I, I take it that's a good thing, right? <laughs> Makoto. Was, was that a good reaction? Was... <laughs> I don't know. What's wrong, Hifumi? It hurts. What hurts? Are you okay? You're really uh sweaty. I'll go get you some medicine. Wait, what kind of medicine do you need? Coke. Huh? Diet Coke! Alright, well that's an easy one for next time. Then I'll give him some Coke. Bring me some Diet Coke right now! He just pulled a total 180. But I don't think I've seen any Diet Coke in the school. I know, I've looked all over. And now I'm going through Diet Coke withdrawal. Withdrawal? If only I'd mastered the Hypno-Eye technique. Then I'd take over Monokuma's brain and use him to go get me some Diet Coke. But I never did learn that one. You got lucky this time, bear. So, uh... I can't take it anymore. I would literally murder everyone in here for a can of Diet Coke. Don't say stuff like that. You gotta get through this, man. You, know you can't say that because you don't understand the glory and splendor of Diet Coke. Diet Coke is a friend to all mankind. A single sip and your body melts like butter. It's the kind of high nothing can match. It's actually disgusting. Like, I gag a little. It clears my mind and even the most boring conversation sounds like a cinematic masterpiece. I knew I was going through withdrawal. Am I hallucinating now? Away, vile spirits! I cast thee out! Fumi, calm down. Here comes the auditory hallucinations. That voice. Princess Pickles, it's you! Snap out of it, man! Princess told me to snap out of it. You can't let Diet Coke beat you. you got it. 
You're right. I won't lose. I'm a strong boy. I can endure this for you, my princess. Now let's play tag. Hurry, hurry. Tag, you're at it. You got a neutral reaction? Damn it. Squealing like a little girl. Fumi ran off to who knows, who knows where. He'll be fine for sure. Report card has been updated. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. I'll still take it because it gave me a point. Like, I was looking for information on what that object was, not just, uh, not just giving it to him. But, like, cool. I got more skills. I'll take it. Still got some time. Ding dong. Sounds like someone's here. Taka. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? You mean Alter Ego? He's still alive? No, not quite. Let me see. I want to talk to him. Taka, the way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? But I don't wanna! I can see Chihiro. Take me. Can I, but I don't, I don't wanna. Kyoko, yes, let's talk to you. Will you give me permission? Just a second. Where are you going? Hmm? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka standing behind me. Yeah, I know that. Just ask for fucking permission, all right? I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well then, I guess that's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt. Maybe it was just my imagination. She's not the person you want to lie to, dude. She is the one who's got her shit together in here. Excuse me. You're back to the crazy one, eh? Is that Toko? What are you two up to? Ah, don't tell me you're gonna, you're gonna. <sighs> Having lost his new brother, Taka's right for the taking. So Makoto swoops in to steal him away. Am I on fire? <laughs> I severely regretted talking to Genocide Jack, even if by accident. It doesn't matter right now. Have you seen Bihaya? No, I haven't. Heavens, my love is being pushed to the limit. It's really good, really good crazy laughs on her. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And now on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. How do I talk to him? Um, will you just tell me what you wanted to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them, and then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape. All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become, so that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark, and what appeared next was... Interesting! You've got multiples of them in here? You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Good. Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. That's... No. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that Master had given me. I figured if Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed and shit. Take the time to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that's kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. What if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? Ah, uh, 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 Taka? Uh, it's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? Those words deep within my heart, they're inside of me, just like Mondo was! 
I can't shout. I cannot shout right now. Yeah. Ah! Thank you. He's gone Super Saiyan. His hair is white. Taka! I, I was excited for this. <laughs> <coughs> Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes? Don't worry about it. Guess I caused kind of a scene. Uh, shoot, man. And you've in your voice. I'm a new me. And I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now. You dumb butt. You're a dumb butt. Your butt, it's dumb. Okay, Taka, calm down. I am calm. Don't call me Taka. That's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. Taka let out a bone chilling howl and ran out of the room. And I took off after him. But someone stood in my way. As if tagging Taka out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. I told you don't fucking lie to purple eye girl here. Just a second. What, what do you think you're doing? Kyoko! Um, no, see, this Enough is just... Already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems. And not just for me, for everyone. Sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. Good. You deserve that. Yeah. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freakout? I'm seriously worried about him. More ding-dongs. Wait, no, that's just the, uh, the message. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors <laughs> to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Cool, it's nighttime already. Guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. More Monokuma Theater. You want to know why I hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a bit best friend once. Actually, he was me only friend, but unlike me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. They just bought the latest big budget video game. He sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right, I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies, even though I never actually played it. Either. Okay, that's weird. No moral to that story, just I watched the game, and I was better at it than all of them, even though I never played it. And I'm never gonna! Dun dun dun! Morning. It's not, it's not like I even want to play a stupid game. Baka. Good morning, everyone! <clears throat> it is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! <sighs> I only had time for one hangout that day. 